Let's see if I can get it to move any with this new tool on it. It's not real. It's not putting a whole lot of pressure on it. Oh. back on the boat again today um, if you're unaware of this project you need to go back and watch the first episode because it looks pretty good now but you should have seen it when we pulled it out of uh, Greg's backyard it was not great so I've already done a whole lot of work into it today's main focus is to try to get the uh, engine freed up so we can spin it over by hand so in a minute here I'm gonna go pull the plugs and saturate the cylinders down with some PV blaster and let that sit probably overnight and then see if tomorrow we can put a wrench on it and move it. So um, again, if you haven't seen the first video, go back and check it out. I'll put a link in the description and uh, it just, man, it just looks so good. And uh, check this little spot out here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I hope you can. We just did some practice buffing uh, just on this little blue spot here and it already came out. So this is, you know, chalky into this so that'll be coming on the future episode but for now let's just get started on soaking those cylinders down all right well it's going to be hard to see just because of the location but we've got three plugs down here that I can get to that one's gonna be a little difficult but let's see if we can pull them out this is just what we're gonna use to try to soak these cylinders down and break up some of this rust we've been using this for a very long time that seems to do the job PB blaster is a kind of the savior sometimes when we need it so let's see what we can get done Hell, oh, cool. That came out pretty easy. I just broke the porcelain, but that's okay. Cool. They don't look bad they're not corroded that's a good sign mr 43 lts i'm guessing that's marine <clears throat> so i'm keeping them because we're gonna replug these holes after we soak them down with the uh, pb blaster great all right here comes the time for soaking gonna put the plugs back in to seal up those holes and let that stuff just marinate in there perfect all right let me do the other side Okay, so we've let that PB blaster 
sit for about two and a half days or so, maybe even more. It's not really looking promising so far as of yet to get this thing freed up. Um, asked some people online for some re recommendations. Uh, a lot of them recommended, you know, Marvel Mystery Oil. So I am gonna put that in there. We did want to do that. We just didn't have it at the house. So I'm gonna try that here in a minute. Um, before I do, I'm gonna try one other thing first. I'm gonna pull the battery out of Gramps, hook it up and see if we can get the starter to maybe break it loose. Um, I'm gonna pull the plugs out first. We've pulled the belt off. I'm not real optimistic. It's worth a try. So let me grab the battery out of Gramps real quick and uh, we'll throw it in. Let's get this thing in here cross our fingers that uh, there's a, no smoke or something. I'm gonna hook up the power first. Oh, come on now. <coughs> Had a feeling. Okay. Well, that's not good. But I think I can steal the one off of Gramps. All right, just stole this bolt from Gramps. It should do the job temporarily, since the whole battery is from Gramps anyway. I don't really want to tighten it. There, that's good. All right, time for a smoke check. Nothing smoking. It's a good smoke check. All right, okay, I'm gonna try to start this thing. I know we unhooked some wires, so I'm hoping that didn't mess up any of the starter. So here goes nothing. We'll see if this frees up the motor or not. Yeah, I don't have anything, nothing. No beeping, no nothing. All right, time to troubleshoot. Well, I didn't really do anything. I don't know what I did, but you can hear the starter trying to engage now. So that's a good thing. Bad thing is nothing's happening. So we're still, still back to that part of Trying to get this thing free. Oop, there it went out again. Sounds like it's kind of intermittent. But, uh, all right, so now I'm gonna put some Mr. Oil in the cylinders. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna do that. Here's what we're gonna do. Bought a big old jug of this. This is just a random like spray bottle that's empty. And this is kind of like the thing you use to get the gear oil out of the the jug. So pretty simple. Let's pull the top off here. Now I'm just gonna stick this in here, stick it in the spark plug holes, pump until I can't pump no more. So I've got the tube going into the cylinder through the spark plug hole. Now I'm just a pumping. I'm gonna pump as much as I can. Get that thing as full as possible. See it's starting to run out now. Alright, so let me do that five more times. All 
hope we can get this thing freed up, but just found something very promising. I pulled the valve cover off just to kind of see what's there. Check this out. It looks brand new. Because it basically is, if you look down in there, there's even oil still in the cylinders. Nothing looks really stuck. It's hard to tell, but that's very, very, very promising. So, Marvel Mystery Oil is in. Now we're just going to wait. Probably going to wait two days before I try to come out here and move it again. Worst case scenario, we got to try to pull the drive off the back to make sure that that's not the issue. That's one of the worst case scenarios. But we're going to keep at it. We just got to let it sit. It took Somebody made a good point when I made a post on this. They said it took 18 years to get like this. It ain't going to be two days to free up. So hopefully Marvel Mystery does its magic. And uh, we get this thing loosened up. And then it'll be fantastic if we do. So just got to wait. Update you when we know more. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try a new attempt. All right, we went, I bought this tool that bolts to the balancer. Um, it helps you rotate the engine. So I'm gonna pull the plugs back out, pull the uh, power or the pulley off and hook this up and see if I can get it to move any. Um, we'll try it, if it doesn't work, I'm wait a couple more days and we may be pulling the uh, the uh, what they call the alpha drive off the back of it because that could be locked up too. So let's see what happens. goodness okay I'm gonna go a little bit more and then go back and forth oh you gotta be kidding me all right that's one way let's go the other maybe it was just a leverage problem doesn't really want to go the other way to rotate their own way. Hold up, rotate some more. I don't want to rotate the other way. Let me make sure I'm in neutral. Yeah, it's in neutral. Oh, oh. No way. That totally worked. They don't feel great. I like to try to get it to go the other way, but it doesn't want to go the other way. Let me keep going this way slowly. Man, I don't want to move the other way. All that Marvel mystery coming out. Hmm.
stop here and I'm going to put some more marble in the cylinders. Let me rotate it just a little bit more. And let them sit in there. Fantastic. And that may have been the issue the whole time is leverage. I don't know. I want to say that the uh, Marvel worked. But either way, we're on to something. That's a, it's a very, very good sign. Very, very good sign. Oh, I wonder if it won't, the jet drive won't let it go the other way. I don't know. That is fantastic news. It's a little kind of notchy. So I'm wondering if the cylinders just have a little rust in there. So I didn't go too far. Just what you saw in the video. I put more marble into in it, you know, the recondition, the cylinder walls. I, I don't know if it's going to fix anything or hurt anything. It definitely shouldn't hurt anything. So we'll let that sit in there for longer. And then I'm going to come back out maybe tomorrow, the next day and see how easy it'll start turning over. Um, and then we'll probably hit it with the starter and see how it goes. Um, we're not ready to start it yet. But we're definitely, definitely moving in the right direction. So that is awesome. Um, I think what we're gonna do before we do all that uh, and try to start it is, is uh, I've got a priming tool. So we will see if we can get the oil changed, use the priming tool, prime up everything, and then see if we can get it to kind of move over. So, and I think that's gonna be maybe it for this video. So. Um, come back the next time we're going to try to start it so thanks for coming along there's going to be more of this boat upgrade um i'm hoping that the motor's okay i think it's okay and if it is then that prevents us from doing a whole lot more work and getting to work on the interior and stuff so stick around got a lot of stuff coming up a lot of projects and uh like always uh, we just enjoy doing this and sharing this with you guys. So until next time, y'all be good.